Here's a live look at the legislative building in downtown Raleigh, where lawmakers will return next week. Among the items they may consider, more money for Western North Carolina and the areas affected by Helene. WRO's Eric Miller joins us live from the legislative building with what else they may be looking at. Eric? Well, Gerald, we know for sure that lawmakers are looking to override that veto by Governor Cooper of the expansion of the state's voucher program, private school voucher program, that is. But there's also been a lot of discussion about relief for Western North Carolina. Speaking today, Governor Roy Cooper said lawmakers have their priorities backwards because there are still so many communities with so much need. Nearly seven weeks after the storm, and the mess is still massive in towns like Hot Springs. I wouldn't even say rebuilding yet. We're still in the cleanup phase. Community organizer Kevin Reese says the tiny tourist-dependent town continues to navigate the double body blow of Helene and a lost fall tourist season. We're a town of 520 people. We have over 150 people out of work. And while some federal and state aid has arrived, Reese says with a business district completely obliterated by the storm, it's not enough. We really could use help. Um, It's a gargantuan task to try to rebuild our town. Um, Folks are dedicated, hardworking, and trying their best, but financially, it's very difficult to navigate. As lawmakers return to Raleigh next week, more Helene relief is on the table. So far, the legislature has approved two relief packages totaling nearly $880 million. But that's still far short of the $4 billion that Governor Roy Cooper has called for. As a Western North Carolina legislator, I would be advocating for immediate funding from the state legislature for recovery. Speaking Wednesday, Cooper called on lawmakers to take money that had been set aside for private school vouchers and instead redirected towards communities hardest hit by Helene. Let's still bring up this private school voucher bill right now because you're going to cement these vouchers for the wealthiest among us uh, into the future. And it's going to be very difficult to come up with the billions of dollars that are going to be needed for Western North Carolina. Now, WRAL reached out to both the leadership in the state house and the state senate here to ask what exactly is on the table here for Western North Carolina. So far, we have not heard back. In Raleigh, Eric Miller, WRAL News.